where we extract the signal from the noise, we bring you the best guests that we can find, we like sports analogies, we like to bring you tech athletes. And we're here, we're surrounded by tech athletes at the AWS Summit, we're here in Moscone. I'm here with my co-host Jeff Frick. Jeff Frick and I have been at it all day, wall-to-wall -wall coverage of AWS Summit. Sajay Krishnan is here, he's the general manager of the AWS Marketplace. A very interesting story here. Um, not just an app store, much more. We're going to hear about that. Sajay, welcome to theCUBE. Thank you, David. Jeff, nice welcome. to be here. So welcome. tell us about the AWS Marketplace. It's uh, been getting a lot of buzz here at the event and, and in the industry. So, so what is it and why, why does it matter? Thank you, thanks for the introduction. So it's more than an app store. Um, you can start by thinking about it very simplistically as a, an app store for business software, but there's a lot more to it. So it's certainly a place where customers can come and find software, purchase it easily, but that's where you take the next step. You can actually deploy and run the software in the cloud. So if you come to Marketplace, you see 25 categories of, of software, so business software across the spectrum. And you're able to actually select, see the pricing quite easily, one click, and you're ready to launch. So within five minutes, your familiar software is running in the cloud. So when you say ready to launch, you configure all the infrastructure required and essentially purpose build that infrastructure on the fly. Is that, am I getting that right? Absolutely. So the beauty of this is you don't have to understand the nuances of AWS. You are used to, say, SAP HANA software on your server in your local data center. You can get the same experience on the AWS cloud and you don't have to learn about the nuances of just one click, and five minutes later, you'll see, welcome to SAP HANA. Yeah, so in theory, you're not actually purchasing an app, you're just you're just lighting one up that's sitting there next to the other stuff you already have lit up. So you're almost configuring your delivery of your AWS solution right. rather than buying and piecing things together again. That's, that's it's sitting there, right? It's sitting exactly. there ready to go. That's a, that's a, you're essentially renting it. It's utility-based pricing, you're pricing by the hour. The price is right there to see. You don't have to negotiate you know, with over a month over complex enterprise terms. It's pretty easy, the price is up there. It, it's a buck an hour and there is, you know, for the software, say, and then there is a couple of bucks for the AWS infrastructure and it's all transparent and one click, five minutes later, you're ready to use it. Who is the enabler to, for, to allow you guys to launch this? I mean, obviously you have to have a transaction system, uh, but you guys are obviously good at that, but you also have to have knowledge of the application and the workload requirement. So you, you just build that up over time and then now have enough data to identify those patterns so that you can accurately deploy those systems or were there other sort of enablers there. So on this, you know, we are looking at, today we have just under 800 listings of products. So it's hard to claim deep expertise in all 800 products and you know, 300 sellers. So the seller actually will test the software. They've got a whole spectrum of AWS instance sizes, you know, small CPU configurations, more memory, it spans the gamut, less storage, high performance storage. They will recommend configurations, and they may choose to have, seller may choose to have a small configuration, a medium configuration, and a large, and they have different pricing by that. So they will actually set up the configuration, and the customer, you know, based on whether they're a small business or a mid-scale department, or you know, looking at, at, at 2,000 seats, they can choose the appropriate size. So the expertise is in the field, and yeah. again, it's the classic self-service model. We just you got the building blocks. We just quote unquote bottle it. Yeah. <laughs> so Sanjay, let me ask you, one of the kind of the dirty little secrets of enterprise sales has nothing to do with the technology, but when I used to sell stuff, we always get mired in the legal, right? We always get mired in the vendor setup and the T's and C's and the liability clauses and all this stuff that has nothing really to do with the business guy trying to get a problem solved. How, I mean, one click and, and implement, you know, implies that people are, you know, chick, you know, chick in the box and, and, and purchasing. I mean, how are you finding that uptake within what traditionally would be the, oh, you got to talk to my vendor setup folks and you got to negotiate this paper and that paper and that paper before we even get to the agreement? So, honestly, there is a standard agreement, uh, you know, just as if you were purchasing, um, you know, consumer software, there's like a, you know, let's say Intuit or QuickBooks or, or what have you. you know, there is a, an agreement that you right, have to right. go through. We also have a, a standard agreement, but the point is that the variances are, are you know, yeah, 
not a whole lot. It's standard, it's right there. Now, if you had to negotiate that, there's not opportunity for that. It's, it's you know, what it is, is, is all there. Right, it's, right. It, so, uh, but... But yeah. you're finding people are they're they're good with the value That's exceeds right. the the I mean the pain was never worth the value to have to negotiate with the the, li the lawyers anyway but you're finding the uptake you know the value exceeds the the uptake is enormous right That's I mean, terrific and, and so what you're finding is uh, you know over the last uh, uh, quarter like about you know from the beginning of the year we've had nearly uh, more than 100% growth in our in our customer base and people who have actually been using customers who have been using software 53% more usage on average so customers love this stuff and another interesting statistic is that over 95% of customers whether they are you know current users or have used in the past would happily recommend AWS marketplace uh, to their friends. Mm -hmm. That's, you know, we are humbled by that, it's a, but it's a very gratifying High industry. NPS. Totally, yeah, yeah. exactly. That's wow, awesome. fantastic. So now, um, t talk a little bit more about what, what's, what types of software are available, and really what's hot right now? So, two questions there. What is available? We have roughly, as I said, about 800 listings, just under 800 listings, over 25 categories. We want to provide software across the spectrum. So in three broad buckets, you know, we have business software, so whether it's CRM or ERP or business intelligence. We have, the second category is infrastructure software, so networking, security, storage, et cetera. And then, of course, you know, we have a lot of developer customers, so we have developer tools for tracking, testing, and so on. Now, what's popular, and by the way, you know, we are always looking to hear back from customers about you know, what exactly they want. So this is a constant quest for us to invite more sellers and products. And if customers come to our site and they don't see some software, by all means, you know, please tell us. We would love to get those sellers and products on board. Now, what is popular? Basically, a glance at our gateway or our homepage will give you a snapshot of what's popular. So for instance, amongst our larger software vendors and their products, uh, SAP HANA, Jaspersoft, uh, Riverbed, um, you know Citrix. Those are all you know pretty popular. When you look at open source, a whole spectrum of open source products are particularly you know, you know adopted by our customers. So whether it's Drupal or Joomla in content management, uh, a whole spectrum of um, operating system stacks, uh, LAMP stacks. When you look at uh, startup offerings, uh, a lot of database products are very popular, MongoDB, Couchbase, uh, Scalark. Um, most recently we had uh, you know, Burst as a business intelligence partner who joined Marketplace. Yeah, so you mentioned HANA, that's an interesting one because you know, a lot of people, whether you like HANA or not, it doesn't, doesn't really matter. I guarantee if you're an SAP salesperson, you're incented to sell HANA. You're not going to make it to club if you don't sell HANA. Jim, uh, Bill McDermott will you know, stand by that. The point is, if you're selling HANA and you're an SAP sales rep, and you got to get a proof of concept spun up, it's just going to take a long time to get server infrastructure. You're making phone calls, you're begging, you're borrowing, you're horse trading. You're talking about one click in, in a, an AWS marketplace, that proof of concept is up and running. Yeah. That's huge for the sales teams. Yeah, for an enterprise sale, you know, I would be disingenuous if I said that you know, in two minutes, enterprise software is up and usable and done. So, a great example for SAP HANA is a Japanese customer who went from uh, first exposure to through proof of concept to sign contract in two weeks. Now, the systems integrator sat with the customer, but the point was that a lot of the extraneous blockages were taken out of the equation. You didn't have to wait for servers, you didn't have to wait for the scheduling, the, the storage admin to kind of carve out the storage and then link the storage to the servers, et cetera, et cetera. All you needed to do was have a HANA expert and a customer who has a need jointly sit together. And it took a couple of weeks, more than five minutes. Five minutes you can get the first instance up, but now you need to populate it, you need to kind of set up all the analytics, et cetera. But the whole point was, it was enterprise use ready in two weeks. Yeah, I mean two weeks to go through the proof of concept, the to get over, whereas it, 
you know, you're lucky to get a server up and running in two weeks on, on yeah, premise, totally. right? I mean, so, it, you know, and storage some, devices. Yeah, absolutely. If you can get servers down in two weeks, hallelujah. Yeah, 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 yeah. you're doing pretty well. <laughs> <laughs> get good processing. Good yeah. <laughs> so, so you bring up an interesting point. You said the SI was there the whole way, and yeah. and uh, during the keynote this morning, Andy talked about now you guys have people services as well, professional yeah. services, yep. etc. Yeah. Are there non uh, software assets being sold in the marketplace, or are you seeing some of the people services come into play? So we are starting to see that, but we are not yet selling that as a product. We're just learning to walk and then okay. run, so it's a, you know, something that we look at. Uh, but certainly, uh, in terms of resellers and systems integrators, they are you know, looking at marketplace products and taking it the extra mile, customizing it for customers, so okay. we see that all day long. Okay. Now this is exclusive to AWS customers, right? Is that is that correct or not? No, it's, it's for you know, definitely uh, long time, AWS customers will happily use uh, Marketplace. Mm -hmm. uh, there are several of them that are firing up hundreds of instances of, of operating systems, for instance, simply because it's so convenient. They're experts in Marketplace, and, I mean, in, in AWS infrastructure, and they could very well configure this any which way, but they chose to use Marketplace because it's so easy. Now, it is especially relevant for new customers, for new users, first-time users to AWS, because it really takes away the requirement of learning any of the nuances of AWS. And regardless, you know, the, you know AWS is easy to use, but there is still uh, certain idiosyncrasies you have to learn. Well, I couldn't use it, right? But uh, but I could go to the AWS marketplace. Absolutely, yeah. and, and you can run, you know, let's say your website, you know, go go fire up an instance of Joomla, and if you know how to use Joomla, yeah. you can go ahead and, and you know use that for, for your website. Right, there's certain apps that I might, as a business person, have expertise right. in, and I don't necessarily have to be a developer to take advantage of that. You said it. That's exactly now, right. now, what's the business model, Sanjay? Are you um, you selling the? You taking a? You obviously, you sell the infrastructure. Are you taking a vig on the on the software piece, and how does that so all work? So, for a dollar of software uh, that's purchased by the the buyer, we take twenty percent off the top and eighty percent. After, after collections is sent to the to the seller. So very account. friendly for the software for the ISV. Very um, friendly, and this is particularly relevant to say a startup, right? So they come to marketplace. The customer gets to buy using their Amazon account, so it's familiar. They don't have to worry about you know is this software coming from a, a new and untested vendor? It's curated safe bits. It's you know, through their AWS account with the standard Amazon good customer service. Um, and for the seller, they're able to, you know, just focus on their innovation. They don't have to worry about billing and collections and so on. We take care of all that, right? And if you're a startup, launch this on Marketplace and, you know, the, the, you're selling the software globally. Are there, are there any exclusive marketplace kind of software startups now that, that you're aware of or you can speak to who, who went that route and things just clicked and why, uh, why go with traditional distribution? You know, uh, you know uh, if you are a software innovator, you know, you'd be remiss if you're not actually pursuing multiple channels. And you know, sure. as with any business, you want to be in multiple channels. Yeah. And AWS uh, Marketplace is certainly a, you know, a strong uh, channel for them. But today, to date, I can't think of anyone that's using it exclusively. Okay. Uh, we hope that will be the case in the yeah. future. That'll be an interesting day, though. I mean, yes. it's kind of like the arbit arbitraging on the, yeah. the computing yeah, resources. Right. There's these kind of second order effects right. that are really indicative of kind of the maturity of the market and, and how it's grown and really seeded. And that yeah. would be another interesting one. Uh, yeah, I think it's an interesting uh, goal line to set for us uh, internally. Uh, however, I think as a software entrepreneur, I probably want to be in a couple of different places. I sure. Mean, so, how did you end up here? Just a personal question. I mean, you got a background in running a few storage companies, <laughs> right? You were at NetApp, uh, Pariscale, <laughs> right? I mean, and, and I mean, there's a lot of storage disruption going on. How did you end up as the general manager of the AWS marketplace? Yes, that's an interesting question. From <laughs> bottom of the stack to uh, top of the stack. Yeah, yeah really. <laughs> yes, uh, shot right up to where the top of the value chain is. <laughs> yeah, uh, I think uh, it, it is the time of, of the cloud, and AWS is, is really, uh, delivering customer value in, in unique and, and differentiated ways, and I just wanted to be a part of that. And uh, you know, 
it was a long conversation. Uh, but, uh, you know, I was impressed with uh, all that AWS is doing and want to be a part of the team. Yeah, awesome. I mean, I mean, the storage is interesting too. There's a lot of disruption obviously going on with your flash coming in and yeah. you know, the cloud storage. I mean, you were you know, a core part of that and now you still are, but less directly, but, but yeah. <laughs> so, all right, Sajay, well, thanks very much for coming to theCUBE and cl clarifying some of the, the questions that people have about the AWS marketplace. Very exciting. Congratulations on all the project progress and good luck going forward. Appreciate your knowledge about Marketplace. Thank you, Dave. Oh, pleasure. <laughs> Jeff, pleasure. Pleasure. Thank All right, everybody, keep it right by. there. We're right back with our next guest. We're live. This is theCUBE. We're at Moscone, and we're going wall to wall all day. We'll be right back. Thank you. Where that runs in the